welcome to Jayan's Academy. Today, I have come up with a very, very, very interesting topic. That is, uh, what do you do in life to get satisfaction? You've all been uh, uh, studying, getting educated. Everybody told you, finish 10th standard, uh, that is your life. And then they said, uh, finish your PUC or 12th standard, that is your life. Become yourself a good graduate and your, your life is settled. And then they said, uh, become postgraduate or do a PhD or uh, do a professional course like lawyer, doctor, engineer, chartered accountant, company secretary or apply for a government job. So the question is, did you, did, did you get happiness by doing that? Yes, of course. And the happiness was momentary. That is where I have brought in today's topic is, what is the Vedanta philosophy's answer for actually getting happiness? I am uh, mixing philosophies of Vedanta here and speaking about what causes satisfaction. Does this real world uh, success as people portray gives you happiness or is there something else is the question. I will not beat around the bush or I will not drag this topic much. Um, the topic is very simple that is, uh, you go out for uh, you go out for vacations, trip, uh, picnic, whatever it is. Uh, and then you feel very happy and then you feel rejuvenated and you come back and then a few days passes by and you again feel agitated you feel frustrated and then you again go back to the same norm that is uh, again you'll search for places you go get uh, satisfaction or happiness and you come back very simple why am i saying this you want to explore food that gives you pleasure happiness you eat some kind of food and somebody says there is some other food that is available elsewhere. You go there and you eat that food and you come back. Correct. You get satisfaction. And then there is no end to it. That is your happiness and your satisfaction. There is no end. As they say in economics, diminishing marginal utility. The more and more you consume a particular uh, product, commodity, the satisfaction, the utility uh, no, diminishes as and when you consume more and more that is what is happening so uh, can happiness not be eternal or can satisfaction for this life not be eternal or is there a way through which you can actually achieve happiness is the question that is why people you see when i actually see uh, people around in uh, cities especially like bangalore or wherever i go uh, people are flocking to hotels, restaurants, malls, theatres, I'm not saying it is wrong, it, it is required. As a modern human being, I can't speak like a traditional uh, uh, mindset of human being, but that is fair, but uh, to what extent? For example, you eat too much of the food that you love, does it, uh, it gives you momentary happiness, but is it long lasting? I don't think so, the cinema that you watch or the entertainment show that uh, you watch or the OTT platform web series that you watch or any activity that gives you pleasure that you see that you do is it long lasting is the question if it is long lasting if it is giving you ample amount of satisfaction that is going to stay with you forever then yes we can say that is happiness but here no it is not happening right that is uh, I, I was pondering on this question you buy clothes for example, I did this, I went to Zodio, I went to Westside, I went to Trends, I went to Raymond's, I went to Park Avenue, I went to Allen Solly. I tried different uh, materials, I tried different fabrics, I tried different uh, new innovations, technologies, designer ways, and a lot of things I have tried. Satisfaction is momentary and it is not passing on. And that is, uh, it is not living, it is not stable, it is not stabilized satisfaction. I was thinking if this satisfaction is not stabilized it is not stabilized then what is the point of doing all these things i i was pondering on this question i went to vedanta philosophy i read a lot of philosophies i'm not a propagator of philosophies as such but in vedanta philosophy it stands on four core principles dharma artha kama and moksha i think most of you have heard about it lot of religions lot of uh, uh, religious belief systems doesn't take these as foundation 
but there is one particular principle that all religions have taken into foundation is karma that is the work you see karma is used in various philosophies now coming back to vedanta philosophy that is dharma artha kama moksha in simple moksha is the last stage that is salvation kama that is desire for many things whatever it may be kama is not only the last time speaking about kama is also about uh, the strong desire that you have for anything and everything just now i mentioned so there is no end to it dharma and artha dharma what is dharma what is right to do artha is what is meaningful or what is the activity that you yourself engage in recently i was uh, hearing uh, um, a particular philosophy and this is what made me to do this particular video i was doing a lot of research on this that is uh, i have this dilemma with me when i am doing this video also that is if i live for myself in the absolute selfish manner that is possible i repeat if i leave myself in the absolute selfish manner that is possible my life my gains my property my home it's like i start accumulating lot of material things and my happiness is very momentary the moment i start giving artha to my life in a very dharmic way that is in a righteous way i'm not speaking about dharma in terms of religion i'm speaking about dharma and artha in the most common sense way that is the moment you start making difference in others life dharma and artha you bring a small uh, artha to your life by making positive impact on somebody's life that happiness is not uh, momentary you don't have an end to that amount of satisfaction that you derive the amount of positive impact that you do on people's life is humongous so this is what i wanted to tell today that is um, there is there are people who will manipulate you there are people who will take advantage of your kindness there are people no matter what you do there will be people who will be searching for that one mistake that you do in life there is also this quote no if you want to try to keep everyone happy the least happiest person will be you fine but what is that i am trying to tell us this is not from my side but from the vedanta philosophy is engage yourself so beautifully in the process of life by making difference in others life a positive impact so this is definitely uh, i can say a solution for a eternal happy life if you did like my content share this particular video to whomever you like and in and around your surroundings and i am really in requirement of a lot of subscribers in order to um, reach my um, channel's content because the content is something very abstract that you don't find it in any other channels if you did like it please like share and subscribe to my channel that's all from science academy thank you